this tutorial, we will show you how to create and open assessment quiz using Gravity Inc. Forms. For example, this quiz is used in the learning wrapper inside the Digital Tattoo website. So if I click on answer, I get response to each answer. Now here's how I created the quiz using Gravity Form. So I'm now logged in to the UBC CMS site and I just go to dashboard. Then go to forms, then select new form. So I'm going to insert the quiz title, digital tattoo orientation. And I press create form. Now here's the form editor too. If I want to create a quiz with multiple choice, I select radio buttons and click on it to edit. Few label is the place where you're going to type your questions. So in my case, I would type, where do I go if I need help? Under the choices, I type the possible answers. Let's say UBC wiki. The orientation guidebook asks your supervisor. Okay, I created the questions and the possible answers. Now I'm going to create the response for each of the possible answers. So I select HTML. And this is where I can type all the possible answers. So for example, I want to type the answers for the UBC wiki, I will say Yes, you can go to, and note that you can also type an HTML code since it's called HTML block. And then here's the important part. If you click on advanced, there's a checkbox called enable condition logic. Just click on the checkbox. And then here's where you can set up the conditional logic. So if I say, if I click show this field if of the following match and question, where do I go if I need help? And if someone clicks UBC wiki as a response, this HTML block will show up. You can type in the field label so that it's easier for you to organize. And then you would do the same thing for the another response. So I'm going to add HTML block again. And I'm going to type in the response. And then do the same thing, go to advanced and click on enable the conditional logic. And then select where do I go if I need help and select read the orientation guidebook. And you do the same thing for the search response too. Then go to advanced, enable condition logic. And for the question, where do I go if I need help is as a supervisor. I'm going to update the form and click on preview to see how it will look. And see, you can get response for each questions. Because I want to make the form look nicer, I will add the line to make the form look cleaner. So click on section and delete the field label. So if you click on update and press preview, then you see there's a line after the questions. Like right now it's only for one questions, but if you have more than two or three questions, it's nice to have this kind of lines. And then you keep adding the questions. Press update form. So now I'm going to insert a quiz to my learning wrapper page. So if I click on pages, I'm going to put it in one of the learning wrapper. And here's the gravity form section. I'm just going to replace this and click on add form and click digital tattoo orientation and select insert form. And I'm not going to save this because it's a live page, so I'm just going to preview changes. And then if I go to sync, then you can see the digital tattoo orientation quiz. This is the end of the tutorial. Please let me know if you have any questions. See you!